Hi, it's Jess with Jess Makes Sense. And today I'm going to do a Bath & Body Works good old fashioned haul video. I went to go get my Christmas candles out and I ran out of any ones that I would burn. So I literally had goose egg amount of Christmas candles. That's never happened to me. But I did do a little bit of a refill and you will see here. Let me just show you quickly the lotion sale. What was it, $3.95 I believe? I got Starlit Night, partially because of the packaging, just this like glitterified thing. The faceted thing really doesn't get me. I don't know why it's more expensive. Nobody really loves it. This, I think, feel like the Starlit Night is so underrated. It came in really quickly and I just feel like we passed it really quickly last year. So if you haven't given it a shot, I would recommend it. It's like the... I would call it the fruity version of Into the Night. That's just what my nose smells. Does it say what it what's on? No, the scent notes aren't on here. But that's what I think of it as, the like Into the Night fruity collection. I don't know, that's just what my nose smells. Next, I got the into the in the stars good old classic in the stars this is this one has it on there um star flower sandalwood musk sugared tangelo white agar agar wood and radiant amber it's just so good it's a classic in the stars into the night so good perfect for this time of year Next, I grabbed Strawberry Snowflakes. I won't be keeping all of these. Some of these I get for like coworkers and stuff when they have a really good sale for Christmas. That way I'm already set and I don't have to stress out because where I work is retail and this is like the busiest time of year. So I don't really have time to go shopping. Strawberry Snowflakes. This smells really good, a lot better than I thought. I thought I was gonna hate it, but it's kind of like a vanilla, strawberry, fresh kind of uh, snowflakey, kind of fresh and strawberry, but then it has like a vanilla hint to it. And even though I don't like faceted collection, I do like the iridescentness of this one. Next is, oh, Bright Christmas Morning. This one is so good and nobody was going after it and a gentleman that works there said I bet you this is going to be the one that sells out and then everybody's going to be like I wish I had it uh ripe red berries blood orange and crisp apple it's just such a good fresh apple orange scent which orange to me like just reminds me of the holidays when you like all the perfumes and potpourris with the orange. Ooh, and then I used a reward to get socks. I still have the socks from years ago. I'll bring out, I'll show you guys. And I've been literally, every time I do the like my two cents thing from Bath & Body Works and they ask questions, they're like, what do you want to see from us? And I was like, bathrobes, sleep masks, like eye masks, uh, better totes, which they did come out with, and the aloe socks that you guys had years ago and aloe shea whatever and here we are i did use a reward on this really cute tote they didn't have it in my store so they just canceled my order the bad thing is is that i don't even have time to wait on the phone to get my rewards back and now rewards you have to spend a hundred dollars so i feel like they are super like hard to get now for some reason 75 seemed like like i was always getting rewards now it's feels like it has drastically slowed down. I also grabbed the um, little baggies and Bath and Body Works ties. I just think these are perfect uh, just to grab, put in like a hand sanitizer and a mini hand lotion and it's a great gift for somebody, especially if they got you something and you didn't get them something. That's awkward. So always have these on hand. They're always at the register. I just grab them on my way out. And that is all for the lotion. Okay, let's put that away. Um, I did grab this. It's like a felty color, felty color, felt material, and it, it is red and black. It has a little Bath and Body Works symbol. It was $3.95. I think I used a 25% off coupon. And I'm just going to stuff this with um, tissue paper, and then I'll put it under my tree like as decoration. Same with this little guy. 
This one's so cute. Like these two in front of each other with tissue coming out. I just think would look really cute. Okay. Oh, I got this. I think this is so adorable. I do want the clock tower one with the little mouse. And I heard that the clock actually works, but is it like, what is it? $70? Ugh. Even with 25% off, that's still a lot of money. But I did grab this version of it. I just think it's so adorable with it, like with the little mistletoe. I just love it so much. I highly recommend this one. $14.50, so you can use the rewards on it. And it's like a velvety material. And people like gave it bad reviews because they said that the sweatshirt was, and mittens were purple, and that's not a Christmassy color. I'm like, yeah, it is. Red and green isn't the only Christmassy color. I think this is perfectly Christmassy. Okay, on to the candles. I think I got like eight of them. They were the buy one, get one free. Um, this first one, I'm not gonna burn for obvious reasons. It's the perfect Christmas, but the lid is Santa. And it is just so darn cute, I can't take it. So I'm not gonna burn it. This one was more expensive, it was $32.50. I get why it's more expensive because this costs a lot more money. Um, if you don't know the perfect way, perfect Christmas, you should. It is fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallow. The mix of just like you know how I love the floral and vanilla for spring, I love like the tree scents and vanilla for winter. Oh my goodness, it's one of the best scents. I highly recommend this. I did get another one of these and I'm burning my last one from last year. And so this is probably the main burner for uh, Christmas, is the perfect Christmas. And look, it's got Santa and then the reindeer going around. Very classic, very pretty. The aesthetic of this is beautiful and I think that you should just leave this for decoration year after year and never burn it because it's, it's that good. Burn the ones that aren't as good. Sorry, I just messed up my station. This one uh, is Cinnamon Caramel Swirl. It has two foxes on it. And the scent notes on this is gooey caramel, grated cinnamon, vanilla bean, and maple sugar. This one smells a lot like maple. Like exactly like maple. I don't get like different notes in this. I just kind of get maple. So maybe when it's burning, you'll get like the cinnamon, the cinnamon caramel -y out of it. But I'm getting like a maple, caramel maple. It's missing something, maybe just like a spice or a zing to it. I can't figure out what this is missing, but I think it didn't have the best reviews online, but I thought I'd give it a shot. It's got snowflakes on the top. The next one, bright Christmas morning. This is different for me because I usually just like the tree scents and the like very holiday pine scents. But this one, because I got the uh, lotion, I thought I'd try this one. Uh, ripe red berries, blood orange and crisp apple, just like the lotion. It's just a very good, like bright, bright orangey smell. And I thought this, the bright orange in this, mixed with like a pine candle would smell like the potpourri that you put on your stove with the, my husband just sent it to me, the orange slices, the cranberry, the rosemary, the cinnamon sticks and the cloves. I thought that that paired with, this paired with pine would be like a really good scent mix. And the packaging I really like. It's like that milky, milky um glossy finish and I love that way more than the matte finish very cute very pretty okay next is oh this is a good one under the Christmas tree not the best packaging in the world I will say I definitely didn't pick it for the packaging but the scent is the best uh fir balsam juniper berries vanilla eggnog which I love sage leaves I don't get a lot of the eggnog, but you're not going to get a lot of the eggnog because the fir balsam is going to like overshadow most of the scent in it. But when you do smell, you do get like that, that fir balsam, but then you get that sweet eggnoggy note to it, not necessarily an eggnog smell. This is like what I'm talking about where every time you smell the candle, you get a little bit more out of it. Whereas the cinnamon swirl, I keep just getting the one maple with a little bit of caramel, maybe. I just keep getting the same scent. But for this one, every time you like open it up and smell it, you're getting a different scent every time. 
Oh, cute lid. I didn't even notice the lid. It's ornaments and some of the ornaments have like flowers, but some have Christmas trees. Do you see that? Very cute. I love that. Okay, let's look at this up. Okay, so I got, maybe I got six. Okay, so I get 10 candles. I was lying. Um, this is the perfect Christmas. Don't love this packaging, but obviously love this scent. And since I'm not gonna burn this, then I will burn this one. Same scent notes. You guys, it's just so good. You just have to get that one. Uh, next up is Twas the Night Before Christmas. Very cute packaging. I love how it's like not black, it's like midnight sky, which is like a really deep blue, but it also is shiny. The scent notes, this, oh, cute. Santa's, Santa's fresh baked cookies, a warm mug of milk with dashes of cinnamon and nutmeg. Hmm. This smells like something, it smells, it smells just like a cookie candle, like a merry cookie or a sugar cookie. This one's not the best either. It's not bad. Maybe it burns well, but this is like one of those ones where I'd mix with something else. But I thought I'd give it a shot. I wanted to try some that I haven't ever tried before. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, this. I may need to get backups for this forever because I love this one so much. It's uh, the peppermint hot chocolate. And I don't even know how it burns, but it smells so good on cold. I just keep sniffing it. It kind of has gr like, it's like a greenish hue, but it's like the icicles on your vehicle. Pretty cool. Big, large snowflake lid. Oh my goodness. You get the peppermint and the chocolate and it's just so good. Oh my goodness. Sweet peppermint, silky milk chocolate and sweet cream. So good, you get exactly how it says. You get that like sweet cream note, like the creamy milky note. You get the milk chocolate and you get the peppermint. It's so good. This one I highly recommend, even if you didn't even burn it and you just smelled it. That's how good that one is. Okay, next is another different one for me, Holiday, which is red cinnamon stick, Christmas clove buds and ground nutmeg. I usually don't go for the cinnamon stick ones because the cinnamon is so strong and this one I agree with. It's very cinnamony. Cinnamony? Like the red hot cinnamon. It smells like those like cinnamon red hots, you know? Exactly like that. And that's all I get out of it. But I thought mixed with a pine scent, it would be good. And it is very aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, a Christmas clove buds, ground nutmeg, red cinnamon stick. So you're just gonna get that red cinnamon, just like those like red cinnamon suckers. That's exactly what it smells like. Which I think is a good candle if you're balancing it out with something else, but just on its own, it may be overpowering. Okay, what's next? Oh, this one had good reviews and I wasn't sure why, but I was like, I'm just gonna try it myself because generally these don't have good reviews. This is the White Woods and Peach. I'm like, what's so interesting about it? But it had wonderful reviews. It is Juicy Peach, Soft White Woods, and Cinnamon Stick. You definitely get Juicy Peach first and then a woody smell. And I don't have a cinnamon stick in here at all. I'm not smelling it. It almost has like kind of a fresh scent. It smells good. It's just not anything that I normally would get, but I'm very curious how this will burn. It must burn really well. And I figure like in between these piney scents, I could do this one in the bright Christmas morning and cleanse the nose palette a little bit. Last but not least, this one I recommended to my sister. Um, I will probably buy this as gifts because this one I feel like is so good and like everybody will like it. My sister smelled it and I was so on point. She fell in love with it and she kept saying, I just wish this was in a perfume. So after she said that, I was like, yeah, this would be a great perfume, but it is Falling Flurries. I originally got it because I love this kind of packaging. I have one from Homeworks like this. I just love the snow-capped pine trees. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And it looks like the sun's about to set and it just has that like sun glow right there. And I just think that that's so pretty. The scent notes are Frozen Thyme, Fresh Eucalyptus, Ripe Pear, and Sandalwood. There's just something about it that's like a fresh 
you get the pear, you get the fresh scent, you get like the pine, you get like a snow-capped mountain and eucalyptus. It's like a fresh scent, but like, like a Christmas fresh scent. Oh, it's so good. This would be an absolutely wonderful scent. Like Bath and Body Works come out with this in a scent and people would love it. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I think I bought a bunch of clothes at Ross recently, um, mostly for work, but I think I'll do a quick haul on that. Um, so I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.